Hey everybody, this is Andy. Down here in my lab. Uh, I got back from LA a couple days ago and I've pretty much been in a fog all week. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But I got the boxes, I'm, I'm building the boxes. And we got about three of these radio specters built so far. This is one of the production ones. I took these to LA with me and used them on my location. And they performed really well. I'm really excited about it. So they, they passed the field test, they passed the uh, haunted location test. I'm very happy and confident in these boxes now, and I can feel like I could ship them. You know, without any problems, so <clears throat> you see my workspace is a complete mess. Seriously building and everything gets really messy when I build. So I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit before I can continue. Um, now I'm gonna talk about this box a little bit just to sort of recap. This is an AM AM radio sweep. A linear sweep back and forth. All analog. Uh, the light when it's on, it's sweeping backwards. When it's off, it's sweeping forward. So this is like about a one and a half second sweep. These boxes are all handmade by scratch. Here's the circuit board. Uh, you can see my dad and I designed it. Had it printed, so nobody else has this. Uh, you can only get it from me. No kit. No hacked radios, no off-the-shelf circuits, all ground built from scratch. So it's a very special box. Uh, the, pre the tuner is a, a tuned radio frequency circuit. I've been told that it's been uh, that Ron Ricketts of the mini box used a tune radio frequency circuit. Uh, the difference is, is though this box has no noise. It's the only ghost box I've ever seen that is completely uh, noise free. And every one I've built so far has, has proven that there's actually no noise. You can hear it. Again, it's still very silent. Uh, I've taken this on location, and again, no si no static, no noise. It works absolutely fantastic. Now, so you, you hear, you tell it sounds kind of weird. That's because I got it going through a couple of effects here. Uh, this is a phase shifter pedal. It gets the sound kind of a chewy sound. So that's a little extra sort of a vocal modulation to help the voices. And this is an echo pedal that I like to use just to sort of make the sounds pop a little better. Uh, you don't have to use these pedals. Now, you can run this thing straight into a passive or active external speaker, or you could run it through the effects to uh, add, to add uh, more sound to it, more sound effects. Uh, it's up to you. It's all up to your personal preferences. You, know, it, you don't have to use these pedals that I use. You can pretty much use anything you want. Uh, there are a lot of good uh, multi-effect units out there and other guitar pedals that you can get for cheap. Mix and match, find your own voice, find, do experiments and find out what you think is the best uh, slew of sounds to facilitate the communication. So I'm just using this setup for now as a demonstration. I got to run it through my stereo amplifier and through my... Uh, my old Electro Voice speakers. That's just my personal setup. There's nothing special about it. So let's see if we can get some contact coming through. Uh, this box sells for $200. Uh, they're pretty simple to build, easy to make, so I can knock them out pretty quickly. And I put it in a plastic case for durability, and I exclude a speaker to keep the cost down. 
<laughs> so come out through. Hello. <laughs> Come out there and talk to me. This is Andrew. It's my name. Can you say hello to me? Just say it. Whoa, what's, what the hell is that? That's a weird sound. Now, the thing about this, this antenna is it's very, very sensitive, which is good and bad. So it picks up any kind of electromagnetic source. Uh, it'll pick up lights. See, I turned the light on. So you got to be careful where you put this thing around because it's very sensitive. I'm looking for Phil. Is Phil here? I hear you, Phil. Phil Garraway? Still's a resident spirit in this house. Now this box sweeps much faster than many ghost boxes does. Do. When people talk about sweep speeds, they usually talk about in milliseconds, and that's usually per first step in the band. And there's typically like 10 steps in each number. They slice each uh, number designation, AM 890, AM 900, into 10 steps. So it's uh, milliseconds per step. But since this is a linear sweep, an analog sweep, we don't do that. We talk about it in uh, how long it takes to sweep the entire band from top to bottom, bottom to top. So it's going through the whole band in about a one and a half seconds. One chimpanzee, two chimpanzee, yeah, one and a half. Any messages you got for us? Again, we can turn it up super fast. This is less than a half second sweep. Can you use this? Can you talk to me through this? So you can really, you can really whack this out if you want. I don't know if this does anything. But it's fun to experiment, you know. That's half the fun of ghost boxing. Personally, I don't even care to go to haunted locations. I just like running this out of my house. Let's turn the speed down. Whoa, a little pop there. I want to blow my speakers out. Let's turn the speed down. See what happens.
Okay, you're getting a lot of radio bleed over. Let's turn up a little faster. And <laughs> now it's really spacey now. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit much. Huh? Let's make the echo quicker. And I got this turned up all the way. <laughs> How's that work? Better? So we're just having fun here. So I got a real short reverb and a medium uh, repeat with the uh, chorus or the chorus all the way up, all the way. Chorus bass shift. Uh, I put the crystals inside with the antenna now. I don't know if that does anything or not. But now I can see it's crystal enhanced. Hey, let's open this thing up, huh? Take a little look inside. Give you guys a sneak peek under the hood. Anybody know about the orphanage that used to be here? There it is. Here's the finished circuit board. All stuff. Not very complicated. We got a flashlight around here. Okay, here's the antenna with the crystals next to it. Very clean, very simple, very pure box. Any last messages? Fuck me. What do I do now? Battery mounts on the side for easy checking. That was Danny, uh, Danny Bigbeard's idea. So they put the battery on the outside. No one has to open up the box. You don't have to drill out a freaking hole for a tray. And you can always check your batteries real quick. Speaking of batteries, uh, the, the battery life on this thing is surprisingly really long. Um, this is my original unit, and it still has the same battery. I've been running it every day for like a couple weeks now. 
so I probably ran this for several hours already, and it still has plenty of charge on it. So this thing just sips the battery juice, which is great. This is going to run a long time, unlike my other boxes. Uh, this thing will run a very long time on a, on a single 9 volt. So I'm happy with that. Uh, so $200, I think it's a great deal. You can email me at uh, shyspiritwave at gmail.com. I'd be happy to sell you a box and take your order. Uh, like I said, I want to sell a lot of these. I want to get these in the hands of as many people as I possibly can. So, the radio specter. Uh, the more I sell, the faster I can get them out because uh, I need to have a cash flow to keep the freaking parts flowing and the, and the shipping going. So uh, I'm going to start heavily promoting this box now that I'm confident that it runs great and sounds great in any environment. So we can turn this off real quick. There is a clean sound. Turn it up a little bit. This thing is so clean that it'll pick up, uh, pick up the radio signal. So you'll hear a lot of broadcast sounds coming through it at first. But when the spirit takes over, you know. It. How's that sound? It's just with the uh, just with the phase shifter. All right, we'll let you guys go. What is that? It's my ghost box. What do you think of my ghost box? I don't think Phil's coming through for me today. I hope he's still around. Frustrated? Why are you frustrated? What message? But they're talking now. What can I do? What can I help you with? I'm turn this down a little bit. Here. All right, pretty cool. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in a box, hit me up. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, guys.